What's up everyone? We're back again with another Minish Cap episode. Uh, yeah, so, uh, this is episode four and we're actually going to be able to upgrade our sword now. Which will allow us to do some really cool things that we couldn't do otherwise. So we go talk to this guy and he's going to, he's already finished the sword. So now we just need to imbue it with the powers of the different uh, elements. So now we need to go to the Elemental Sanctuary, which is going to be in the Hyrule Castle, if we can get out of this dialogue. Okay, there we go. I think they'll want us to fuse now. I think, nope. Maybe they'll leave and come back. No, okay. There's some event that, like, causes them to want to uh, trade kinstones, fuse kinstones, or whatever. Okay, let's go. <laughs> oh god. Okay. I think I can go this way. Yeah. Okay, I know where we're at. So, uh, yeah. Ooh. Sorry there's not much commentary right here. I'm probably gonna edit this part out. And then go straight into the other thing, but who knows. Alright. So we're back in Hyrule Town. Uh, first things first, we need to go up. And here we can go to the uh, North Hyrule Field, and then we can go... Oh, I didn't know I could deflect that. Okay. Oops. All right. All right, so now we're gonna go... I believe we need to go right. Nope, never mind. Oh, I think right now we can go into the castle, so we're good. Okay. At some point in time, we're not allowed to go into the castle. My memory serves me correctly. Nope, can't go that way. Maybe it's left. Yeah, okay, so we go left. Go down. I think it's just straight up. Yeah, here we go. Okay, so now we're in the Elemental Sanctuary. And here is gonna be where we can imbue our sword with the power of the elements. So listen to that nice music yeah so here we're going to be introduced with a very very different mechanic which is i think this is the only game where it actually happens where you can do this but it's honestly really cool i enjoy it a lot so we put our sword in here view it with the powers the beams of light you know switches to the different colors. Then we get the orange blade. Or red blade. I don't know. Now here's that new element I was talking about of the game. So when you're on top of these different places, you can stand on them and then you can create a copy of yourself. So now, we can solve puzzles that use multiple links, like this one, the first of many. Okay, so now we have the white sword, um, now we need to go to the Castor Wilds. that's where the next 
element is supposed to be, and that's honestly probably one of the cooler temples. I really like that temple. It's gonna. Here we go. Another Vadi encounter. So, uh, basically, yeah. We're just gonna talk to him for a second. You know how it is. Evil wizard trying to take over the, the world, or whatever. That really wasn't that hard. Uh, yeah. Okay. So here's the backstory. So Vadi was a Minish that was actually a uh, student to Ezlo, who was actually also a Minish. He put on this magic hat and then turned himself into a dark wizard. Or sorcerer, or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> And he just wants to take the Light Force and just use all of its power for himself. And here's how we get our good friend Ezlo. <laughs> I, I absolutely love Ezlo's design. It's just so funny. He's just a freaking duck. A duck cap. I love it. Uh, so yeah, it's gonna be <laughs> back on our head. Okay, so now we go to the next element. Which we will be able to find over here. Actually, nope, not over here. It's actually down here. You have to go a different way, I think. Oh wait, I think, oh no, I still need 100 to get the boomerang, which I should probably get. So I should probably just like farm really quickly for coins or rupees. So uh, I'll edit it out uh, whenever I actually get that many rupees. So uh, yeah, see you back in a second. Just edit anything out I want to. The stupid snake, dude. Okay. So now we have... Oh, perfect! We have enough. Okay, so I literally just fought that snake that we saw from last episode, and now we can actually go buy it. It's going to be very beneficial that we get it now. Okay, let's get the boomerang. Yep. Perfect. Actually, there are some things we can do in town. So I guess I'll do those first and then I'll go after. So I think I can go in here and talk to him and he'll give us... Yeah, there we go. Yeah, okay. So a new technique. So now we're able to break pots or rocks just with our sword, which is a lot better than having to pick everything up, so. You know, it's, it's pretty basic for a technique, but <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's all you gotta do. And then we have a new tiger scroll, so that's cool. All right. Um, so another thing we can do in here is 
<laughs> that was a very rude lady. Is we can do this. And that acts as a minish teleporter then. Oh, actually, I should probably... Or, not teleporter, but a shrinker. I don't know what they're called. I, I, I've played this game too much. And I can't even... So much, and I can't even think of the name of it. What, what's wrong with me? So, a few things are going to happen. Um, sometimes they're just, like, basic things. Like, I'm pretty sure those are just rupees in there. So that's good for later. They might be something else, but who knows. Let's see. Does she have anything? Oh, I can trade with her. Okay. Perfect. Let's see what this is. an enemy? Nope. Okay, another thing. Perfect. Okay, can't fuse with her. Can I fuse with this guy? I can. Okay. Nope, I can't. I don't have it. Can't fuse with that guy. Okay. Oh, yeah. Forgot it. I can do this now. Just look at the graphics of that. that. That looks so nice. Like, come on. Yeah, so the portals, I guess. That's what they call them. Oh, I didn't mean to grow. Dang it. <laughs> Sometimes you get too close and you're trying to roll away. So what I want to do first is probably go here. I don't, I don't really need to go behind and talk to that one guy. can talk. There we go. Ooh, oops, wrong one. There we go. Yeah, it's really weird, like, how you can just fuse kin stones with anybody. It's honestly, like, so weird. But, uh, that opens up a new thing. There might be a fountain in there. I think that might be a fairy fountain. I could be wrong, though. Um... Go ahead and grow. Perfect. Ooh, nice. This opens up one of the things. I believe this is a fairy fountain, actually. Yeah, this is a fairy fountain. The other one? I can't remember what that is. I'm running low on kinstones. It's actually pretty bad. Is this going to be Octorok? Yep, okay. Cool. So I don't think the other guys give you anything. Can't fuse with this guy. So here, I, I think I think I might as well just come over here and uh, show this cool mechanic. So there's this mini shop in here, and you can use this machine to purchase collectibles. And there are like mini figures in here, and it's actually pretty cool because there's like over 150, I think. I think it's like 178. I could be wrong. But it's something like that. And it's honestly so cool. Because you can literally just do this, like, and just try to get as many collectibles as you can. And you have different odds every time you do it. Oh, and the Beatles. <laughs> nice. So that's something that you can do if you want to, like, try and 100% complete this game, which is kind of hard because, like, you have to find a lot of those things. And, like, some of those chests that you find, you know, it's kind of useless, sometimes not. Okay, so there's this guy... 
don't have it. Okay. Um. I might be able to trade with this guy. Nope. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to South Haru Field and we're gonna I'm actually gonna go get a ferry. Oh, nice. Okay, perfect. So now we have to go this way. Nope. How do I get over there? I'm trying to remember. Um, maybe I do have to go up. Can't believe I'm this lost. Actually, there might be another thing I can do real quick. <laughs> I'm really like not focused right now. That beetle. Okay. So I can't go in there yet. Okay. I might be able to talk to these guys. Oh, they're not even over here. Never mind. Okay, so now we're gonna get our second bottle, because I just remembered we can get a second bottle now. Oh wait, can we not? Is it really just this way? I can't remember. I, th I think I do now. I think there's like a ladder or something up here to the left that I'm able to go to. Yeah, okay. That's where I messed up. Yeah, because now we can do this. So with these squares, we can do that now and we can push objects that we couldn't normally push which is really cool if i'm gonna be honest i don't know what's here oh just a kinstone piece okay that's fine oops okay Nice. So this this is a good area to like farm for like kinstone pieces if I want to, which I, I might have to later on because there, there's some things I need to like trade and get, but I think eventually I'll be able to get like some pretty good things. Okay, so I, I don't really... So we, we can go back in and out, like, 
can get more and more pieces, so. Uh, eventually we'll be getting like a pretty cool thing. Ooh, okay. So now we can just walk through here, and I'm pretty sure there's a bomb place here. So we're just gonna put a bomb there. Yep, okay. Oh, another fairy fountain. Nice. And here's another cutscene. What's happening here is Vadi is going to be taking over. He's going to be Vadi in the house, if you will. And and yeah. So, uh... He's just going to take over his body. I don't know if he's like... Oh, I know. I, th I think he does just like make himself appear to be the king. So he wants the light force, but all these people, they don't understand what that means. They don't know about the actual story or whatever. Hmm, I wonder, I wonder how that happened. Something happening in the direction of the thing? That's weird. Oops. Ooh, nice. Okay, so now we have access back there. Okay, so now we're gonna go up here, which, oops. This is Castor Wilds. And this place This is where one of the elements is, so let's try and do it. Oh no, we can't do it. Hmm. Okay. You basically have to do that in order to get the next item. Which is kinda stupid, but... Uh, I guess it makes sense. Can I go down here? Oh! Oh, I messed up. Okay. So now we have to go back to Hyrule Town. And there will be a item we can somewhat get. We have to, it's a mini quest. So we have to go talk to the shoe smith. Okay. So he's asleep. And then we go talk to his mini helpers, you know, the minish, you know, they're just chilling. Yeah, so he's making Pegasus boots, and they make you run really fast, so... There we go, okay. So now we have a new quest, we have to go get a mushroom to wake, some, uh, wake him up. Which we might end up having to need more rupees. Because you have to buy it from some witch. But, uh, yeah. So let's go down there. And it... Once we actually get this item, it's going to make things a lot easier. And, you know, just because I saw this, I'm just going to go ahead and do it. So there's a Tingle quest. And you can talk to these fairy like guys and you fuse stuff and some pretty cool things are going to happen. Oh, I can get rupees there. 
Yeah, okay. So if I talk to him and his other three brothers, uh, he gives me... Well, all four of those trees are going to open up. Oh, dude, I could have... Ah! Oh! Dang it. Oh my god, I almost got that guy. Okay. So I can go up here... Oh. Get out of my way. <laughs> so basically, these four trees become hollow and we can go down into them. And when we do that, we flick the switch, it activates that. Oh, we get a kinstone piece, it's not rupees, dang it, okay. And once we get all four, we're gonna be able to open that chest. And in that chest is a magical boomerang, which will go wherever I want it to go, basically. You're able to control it. So it's actually pretty cool. Yeah, I know, it's fairy fountain. Okay, cool. Um, can I go anywhere over here? I think this is not the place where I need to go. Yeah, I can't go anywhere here. That sucks, okay. So that's gonna be for later. What I can do is open that up for future use. Cause I can't do that yet, sadly. Maybe Lomlon Ranch is active. Oh, it is. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, you can go ahead and talk to these people if you want to. I don't because I already know what to do. So, they lost their key and it's inside. So, just shrink down, grow. And then right there. Oops. And, yeah. So now we go talk to the dad. Oops. Oh my god, let me walk. Yeah, there we go. Alright, perfect. And we actually have to go through here in order to get to the witch, so, yeah. There's actually a lot of rupees in there, surprisingly. Ooh, nice. So, if we go this way, is it up? No, this is a different place, okay. Yeah, but we can set this up for later. Okay, there we go. I think we can talk to, nope, the other brother's not here yet, okay. So I, I think it's like they appear as they are able to. Oh, I'm not supposed to be here, actually. Well, that's sad. Can I go this way? No. I think I'm supposed to go here. Yeah, this seems right. Nice, we got some more rupees. I think we'll definitely have enough for the witch. This is not where I'm supposed to be. This, this is where, okay. I'm not sure where I'm supposed to go then. Up, maybe? I can... There you go. One step ahead. I mean, there's no reason not to do this right now. 
I don't know what's over here really. I can't remember. Probably just gonna be kids son. Yeah. Um, so yeah, let's go and try and float. I think we might have to float in order to get to Lake Hylia. Or the, it's in the Minish Woods, but we, we have to like go like south. Oh, no, 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 no. I need to go that way. Come on, come on. There we go. Yeah, because we need to go through this one. Float over this thing. I think we have enough time for... Barely, okay. We go this way. Oh, here's that, uh... Golden thing from earlier. Octorok. So we're able to kill this, and we're gonna get a bunch of rupees from it. And... Now we can go talk to the witch. We need this mushroom. Oh god, 60 rupees? Gosh. Alright. So I don't know if you can hear that in my recording, but uh, people above me in my apartment building <laughs> are just like moving all their furniture around. We got this. Now we have what? We need two more? Three more. Okay. And we can push this now. Perfect. I guess I can do this. So this is a Goron, and he's part of a quest line in order to get a few different things. Oops. Nope. I don't even know if I have it. I don't have it. Okay. So all that would have done is brought a new merchant into town. Oh, there are these guys now. Now, I do believe that these actually affect the Goron quest. Yeah, okay. So, I think there's like eight different, like, kinstone fusions we have to do for the Goron quest alone. So, it's best we get them knocked out right now. This is gonna be a chest, I believe. Yeah, I think there are mysterious shells in that, so I don't wanna get that yet. Oh, I think I think last time I was talking about how to get all four bottles. I think I just remembered how I get the third one. Oh wait, no. No I'm lying. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna go up here and talk to this guy. <laughs> so after he wakes up, he's gonna be just like Finishing off, you know, and then just gives us a pair of Pegasus boots for no reason at all. He was making them for whatever reason, who knows? And then just gives them to some random kid. Oh, so he was just making them for Princess Zelda. <laughs> okay, so that, there is a reason. So now, here's the cool thing. 
we can run really fast now. <laughs> but not only that, we just got these. There is a new technique we can learn, so we're going to be learning two this time. So now, dash attack. Whenever you're running with your Pegasus boots, you'll hold your sword out and you can do damage into anyone you run into. So it's actually pretty cool. And yeah, so that's basically all it is, is it before you can have your sword out and now you can. So that's another tiger scroll, so that's cool. Well, I think this is going to be it for this episode, and then next episode we'll be able to take on the uh, Castor Wilds and get into the next temple. So, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, like the video, and subscribe. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.